Hey there, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Hannah. I post all things fashion, beauty, and lifestyle related that are also vegan and cruelty free. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe before you leave and give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. So today I wanted to do a very exciting unboxing. I have been hanging on to this for a couple days till I could film and it's been so hard. I've been wanting to open it so bad but I wanted to get my first impressions on camera. So this is from a company called Senrev, and I have been obsessed with their bags for so long, but obviously they were made from leather, and I do not purchase any leather material. Um, I am an ethical vegan, so I apply that to all areas of my life, and that includes fashion, but I am also a huge lover of fashion. Before I went vegan, I had a bunch of designer handbags. That's just something that I really personally enjoy is a good quality handbag. So when I saw that Senrev came out with a vegan line, I reached out to them because I had to get my hands on one so that I could review it for you guys. So this is gifted. Thank you so much to Senrev for sending this. I am so excited to give you guys an in-depth review and hopefully help give you some insight onto whether or not you want to purchase this bag. So let's open it. I need to invest in a box cutter. I don't have one, but you know what? That pen works just fine. I'm actually kind of surprised by that. I'm so excited. Also, if you're new here, I have quite a few other videos on vegan handbags that I will link in the description box. So definitely check those out. I absolutely, absolutely love shoes and handbags. They're my weakness. So I have quite a few videos on handbags if you are interested. So big. It's packed with this tissue paper and, and it comes in this really nice dust bag. I'm looking, sorry, I'm looking at the thing to make sure that I have it in the shot. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So it's got a crosshatch type of pattern on it. I believe they call this Safiano. This is a lot shinier in person than I actually thought it was gonna be based off of the pictures, but I don't mind it. It's very pretty. So I picked the Vegan Noir with gold hardware. This particular style is the Vegan Maestra bag and they have quite a few different sizes. So if this is too big for you, they have smaller sizes of this, but I really wanted to get a big one for when I'm traveling or just days where I'm gonna be lugging around a lot of stuff like my computer, whatnot. So it has the logo on the side right here. I think it looks so classy. And the cool thing about this bag is that it's multifunctional. There's many different ways that you can carry it. So of course we have this top handle right here. And then on the back we have these straps. So first off, I love this pocket so much just for like, you know, if you're traveling, you can put your boarding pass here. Um, you know, I think you could maybe put your phone in there and it's a little too tight for your phone. But you know, if you're like out shopping, you wanna put your credit card in there, you wanna put your boarding pass there if you're traveling. It's nice just to have something like easy to get to. And then this longer strap can be carried over your shoulder. It's got a nice little extra support right here. So what I love is that you can pull these straps through and it becomes a backpack, which is my favorite way to wear a bag when I'm traveling, so you can see. I'm wearing pajama pants, I totally forgot. <laughs> then on this front area right here, this little strap goes through here. And then you have a couple different options of where you want to like snap it in place. It's kind of like a belt. So that's what it looks like when it's closed. Now let's get into the inside. So I absolutely love that it has a zipper closure right here. So it keeps everything inside, especially when I'm traveling. That's something that concerns me if like, you know, your bag gets knocked over and something spills out. It is open on the sides. So it's not like a complete zip across if that makes sense. But this does snap into place down here, which will give you some more protection. The inside, so this is like a, it feels like a faux suede type of material on the inside, really nice, feels very high end. 
and then this is the inside okay there's actually way more pockets and stuff going on in here than i actually thought there would be so first off we have a little snap closure right here i believe this is probably intended for like a laptop or an ipad type of situation i have a 15 inch laptop so mine will definitely not fit in there but if you have a smaller one that will definitely be really handy for that I kind of, I love my laptop, but I, I kind of get why people have iPads and stuff, especially for travel. It's just so much easier. And then underneath, this is going to be so hard to show. Underneath that, there's three pockets right there that you can put stuff in. Definitely a good spot to put like your phone, some extra pens, things like that. And then you have this right here. I love when bags include these for your keys. It just makes it so much easier to grab your keys. Otherwise, I will definitely be digging around for my keys forever. So on the other side, we have a zipper pocket right here. I love that for the extra valuable stuff. If I were to put like jewelry in my bag or something and I wouldn't want that to fall out, that would be a great spot for that. Anything super valuable. Again, you have three pockets right here and then you have the big open pocket in the middle right here. Okay, so I have my 15 inch laptop right here and I wanted to see if I could fit this in the middle not the laptop pocket that it's intended for but in the middle oh my gosh <gasps> yes all right it's a snug fit for sure but it definitely fits which is amazing that's what i wanted to get the big one for okay i am really impressed by this i already knew i was gonna love it um but I definitely wanted to see it in person just to make sure the quality felt nice. I do think this like Sapiano type of material helps make it a lot more durable, especially when it comes to vegan leathers. It's gonna be really hard to like scratch this. This feels like something that I can knock around a bit and it will still look great. It's also super, super sturdy. Like its shape is gonna maintain itself really well, which I love. Like it just like bounces back into place and holds its shape really well with nothing in it. I wanna to try to carry it like this and see how that looks. All right, so that's what it looks like from the side. It looks like this from the front. Ignore the pajama pants. All right, I actually really like that. I honestly think I'll probably carry it like a backpack more often just because I like the hands-free option but then it's just so nice to have the versatility of carrying it like this. Let's see if it goes over the shoulder. All right, so yeah, if you're gonna wear it cross body like this, it's gonna hit a lot higher. And I'm pretty short, I'm 5'3", so if you're any taller than me, this probably wouldn't be an option to wear it like this. So if you're somebody that this is a must for you to wear it like this, you're, you might not like this bag as much. And again, if you're taller than me, it's gonna hit you a little higher than it does me. So I didn't even show you guys the bottom. Okay, so the bottom has five of these little feet right here that are in a matching gold. They match the same gold that is on the rest of the bag. And they even put little like plastic covers on it. So it maintains its perfect shine. So I'll have to pick those off later, um, but they are gold. You just aren't gonna be able to tell because they have the little stickers on top. Um, so this retails for $8.95. I, I know that's a lot of money for a bag, but this is a luxury designer handbag. So keep that in mind. I categorize this in the same category as like a Stella McCartney. Um, you know, you're gonna pay a lot more, but it's a designer bag and I do think this is gonna stand the test of time. I love how classic it is and I'm gonna be getting so much use out of this. This is definitely my new favorite handbag. I'm so excited about it. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this bag. I will do my best to answer them. And yeah, thank you so much, Senrev, for the bag. Thank you for coming out with a vegan line. I am so excited about that. I think it really sets a great impression for other designer companies to follow. I think if these bags do well, maybe that will influence other designers to come out with a vegan line. I think it's time that designers step up and add a vegan handbag to their collection. You know, I know they have the resources to do it and they have the resources to make it good and good quality. So 
very, very excited about this. And you will definitely be seeing it a lot more on my Instagram page. That's where I style a lot of my outfits. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. Let me know if there's any vegan handbags out there that you're interested in that you'd like me to review. I would love to do that for you. And I will see you guys in another video very soon. Bye.